using Screencast-O-Matic for quick and expensive video captures. Sign on to the Screencast-O-Matic website and either get an account or simply click the Start Recording option. Move to the area that you want to tape. It could be anything from a virtual space, to a document that you want to explain, or even to a spreadsheet that you want to use. If you have a webcam either attached or integrated into the system, you'll also see this icon. If I click the arrow, I can now opt to put the webcam on. It will show up to the side and you'll see a picture of my coffee cup and some of my computer set up over here. If I only want to show the webcam aspect, I can go to this icon and switch only to the webcam. And now the portion that will be taped through Screencast-O-Matic is simply the portion that is within the webcam, not what is also on my screen. And once you're in the webcam only mode, you have the option of toggling to to screen and webcam together. After you have set up the area of the screen you want taped and turned on the webcam if desired, you will see a window like this that allows you to set the parameters of the area that you're going to actually tape. Then all you need to do is click the red start button and your taping begins. After its countdown, Screencast-O-Matic will actually tape everything that you do. I'm going to zoom in and zoom out. And I'm also going to click on one of the menus so that you can see how the menu and arrows appear and how you can show your viewers anything that you want to show in your environment or your documents. Once you have completed your taping, you would simply click Done, and then you are given the option of publishing. You can publish to YouTube, which is what I would be doing here, and you'll be prompted for a description and tags and categories for the YouTube document that you're creating. Notice that in the free version, by default, everything is made public. You would want to set it to private if you don't want it to be viewed by the world. You now have an easy web-based way to explain virtual environments, documents, or processes. Of course, you'll want to use concise video capture and useful editing, which are not discussed here.